Are you considering moving to Apex, North Carolina? If so, today's video is gonna be a big help for you. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know before you make that move. Hello everyone, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with the Morton Bradbury Real Estate Group. And the first thing you need to know about Apex is the downtown is absolutely amazing. Apex and Apex's downtown rank really high on our personal lists of the some of the best suburbs and downtowns in all of the Raleigh area. Salem Street is the main drag here with lots of restaurants, shopping, all of that sort of thing. And Apex is well known for being a railroad town, so there's tons of history with a railroad museum right there in the downtown area. Next thing you need to know, Apex is getting kind of expensive. Median price for single family resale homes right now are coming in around $625,000. Whereas new construction single family homes are coming in around $745,000. Resale townhomes are going to set you back somewhere in the neighborhood of $470,000. And new construction townhomes are going to cost somewhere around $480,000. Next thing you need to know, Apex is becoming Cary Part 2. As we said in past videos, as Cary has gotten built out, all of that new construction growth has to go somewhere and it's headed towards the Apex area. Apex is one of the fastest growing uh, areas in the Raleigh area. And frankly, it very much is starting to feel like an offshoot of Cary. Basically, it's very, very hard to tell where Cary ends and Apex begins. They're basically tied to the hip. The good news is you can live in Apex and enjoy all the amenities that you find in Cary. It's just basically a short 10 to 15 minute drive from pretty much anywhere in the Apex area to get to carry. Next thing you need to know about Apex is the commute times. To get from Apex to downtown Raleigh, you're looking at about an 18 to 25 minute drive. Most of Apex is about 20 to 30 minutes from Research Triangle Park. And as we said just a second ago, Downtown Apex to downtown Cary is about a 10 to 15 minute drive. Next thing you need to know about Apex are all of the things that there are to do there. Starting with the Apex Nature Park. Along with the Nature Park, there's the many, many greenway trails that run through Apex. As well, there's the American Tobacco Trail that goes into Durham. As we said earlier, there's the North Carolina Railroad Museum in downtown Apex. And aside from all of the greenways and trails, the main, main attraction of Apex is that downtown we talked about earlier. And what about all the events and celebrations that happen throughout the year in Apex? Well, Apex is famous for their old-fashioned 4th of July celebration that happens, you guessed it, on July 4th. It's a celebration of Independence Day where you're going to find fireworks, a parade, celebrations, and food. Salem Street also is a big, big hub for celebrations for both Halloween and Christmas. And don't forget movies in the park, which happen through spring and summer of each year. And Apex is home to the Apex Music Festival that happens yearly. Next up, let's talk about all the shopping opportunities that abound in Apex. Again, we've talked about how Apex is very, very close to Cary. So anything you can imagine or know about that's going on in Cary, you can get to it from Apex really, really quickly. But beyond that, Apex has a Costco, several strip malls, Apex Promenade, and Beaver Creek Crossings. As far as grocery stores go, Apex has Lowe's Foods, Lidl, Harris Teeter, Publix, Food Lion, Aldi, and many more. Next thing you need to know about Apex, it's getting kind of crowded. Currently, the population of Apex is somewhere around 75,000 people. It's one of the fastest growing cities in all of North Carolina. Back in 1990, there were only 5,000 people living in Apex. And in fact, Apex recently passed up Chapel Hill to be the fourth largest city in all of the Triangle Raleigh area. Now, admittedly, 75,000 might be a bit of a small number compared to places you may currently live, but just know Apex is growing and growing rapidly. Next thing you need to know, there are a lot of new homes being built in Apex. We've kind of touched on this earlier in this video, but because so much growth is headed towards Apex, a lot of new homes are being built, which means a lot of the homes that are being sold are new construction. Fully 37% of the homes that are currently being sold in Apex are new construction homes. And 74% of the homes that are being sold in Apex currently are less than 20 years old. 
So you can expect if you're interested in buying a home in Apex, you're going to most likely be buying a fairly new home. So if you're considering a move either into or out of the Raleigh area, my real estate team and I would love to be your agents of choice. You can email us at hello at mortonbradbury.com. Give us a call on the number below or click on the link in the description. We'll be happy to get things started for you. Check out this video. We think you're really going to like this one as well. And if you haven't already done so, like and subscribe to this channel and... We'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.